Durkin and Crow Lumber Company is a manufacturer of eastern white pine in New Hampshire. We're 85 employees. We produce about 30 million board feet of pine a year. We also buy from hundreds of loggers and we sell to uh, hundreds of customers up and down the eastern seaboard. So we buy logs, we saw those logs into one inch thick uh, lumber. Uh, that lumber gets dried in uh, one of our dry kilns, after which it goes into the planer mill, is milled to order. We don't waste anything. We, uh, we buy the logs, we debark them, we grind the bark, we sell our sawdust to farmers. A lot of our sawdust we burn for heat in the wintertime. We sell our chips to the paper company. We use a lot of electricity, it's expensive. Um, it's one of our highest fixed costs of operation. It's a highly automated uh, mill, highly automated process. So both electricity and heating wise, um, the costs are large. Any way that we can save energy uh, means we're saving money. Initially when we met with Durgan and Kroll, I just did a cold call here and up to that point they hadn't been active and it was really stemming from that one meeting where we aggregated the most projects into one particular efficiency program. They hired an outside uh, consulting company to come in and do an audit of the energy usage in the facility and determine where there might be opportunities to, to make improvements. The biggest savings have been the, the air compressors and the lighting uh, projects. We've upgraded close to 500 uh, light fixtures uh, throughout the facility. In the case of the uh, induction lighting that we put in the big shed, it's fantastic. It's extremely bright in a building that had almost no light before. We replaced a 150 hit horsepower air compressor in the sawmill with a 185 horsepower uh, air compressor. So we learned that um, the demand in the mill was actually higher than, than what the old compressor was able to put out. So we actually got a, a machine that was properly sized for the demand and at the same time it's using less electricity than the old uh, compressor. Adding all the projects together, we figured the savings would be on the order of $100,000 a year and that's about 800 50,000 kilowatt hours, I think, per year. The total payback was about two and a half years. Now we're saving that $100,000 a year uh, going forward. The rebates were extremely influential. We, we certainly would not have done the lighting project if it wasn't for the rebate. The air compressor project, we might have done without the rebate, but we probably wouldn't have done it to the extent that we did it with PSNH's help. With Durgan and Crow, when we started the process of one project and they saw the benefits and the results, it became very easy over time. There was kind of a trust. They've been very helpful in getting the right people here to evaluate the projects and find out the best direction to go to, to improve the efficiency and to create a real great return on our dollar. Durgan and Kroll is a good example of a business that's somewhat unique to a state like New Hampshire that you may not see in many other jurisdictions in our region, but they also prove that it's a great opportunity for any kind of business to really engage in energy efficiency improvements and upgrades. There's a number of things we love about energy efficiency programs is they lower Durgan and Kroll's costs. They're much more successful in our area, and it also lowers the use of energy that we see on our system. It's certainly fitting that a business that is reliant upon natural resources to succeed is being a great steward of natural resources by being energy efficient as possible, and they really are a good example of that. But having business case studies like this one really do go to show that this is not just good business, it's good investment, it's good policy, it's good all around, it's a win-win-win for the state of New Hampshire.